Tip Benson here, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to take you on a trip down memory lane where I share with you about that time I met Katie Puckrick. So if you wanna hear my fantastic memory of Miss Katie, please keep watching. Yes, so in 2014, I took a trip with my friend who was in the entertainment business, he still is today, and we he was there for business and I was there for pleasure, and I was just kind of bored, like he was so busy doing things and I was just like, you know what, I want to go and see the sights and sounds of LA on my own. So at this point in 2014 in my fragrance journey, I... Um, had access to a lot of designer scents, but it was it was kind of um, it wasn't hard for me to get my get my hands on niche scents, but it was just not easy. I googled Lucky Scent, which was in the area in LA, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk there. I'm walking, you know, I'm walking down the boulevard. I forgot what boulevard it is, but I'm walking, walking, walking. I finally get to Lucky Scent. And when I arrive there, there's a party going on. That's one thing that I like about the fragrance community. It's like any excuse to um, celebrate. As I go into Lucky Scent, they give me champagne, they're like, giving me hors d'oeuvres and I'm like, oh my God, like I wasn't invited to this party, but I'm just gonna go right ahead on in. <laughs> so I asked one of the people that were working there, is this an invitation only party? Like I just wanna buy some scents. And she's like, no, go ahead, you know, sniff the different scents, sniff the different lines, mingle, have champagne, drink. I was like, okay, so. I did. As I went towards the back of the room, I see like a bunch of people congregating like around one person. And I'm like, well, who the hell is that? What's going on there? And it was none other than Katie Puckrick. She looked so beautiful. I mean, she's so sweet anyway and everyone was like hovering around her like can I get a picture can I get an autograph everyone everyone was just so nice to her I remember this guy saying oh my god I watch every video that you put out I share every video that you put out and I remember thinking in that moment like that is awesome. One day I would really like to put myself out there in that way because it was just inspiring to see her at work and you know she was there not as an appearance but you know she was there just like the others who were there in the fragrance community to celebrate the new perfume that was being launched and also to sniff out other perfumes you know I didn't introduce myself or anything like that I just you know she was already being hovered by so many other people I was just like this is an experience, let me just enjoy the experience while I'm here, get my perfume, and go home. So like I said, because I didn't have access to niche brands, and they had them there at Lucky Scent, I stayed probably for like two and a half hours, just sniffing around, and you know, I was trying to find me a winner that I could take home with me. And as I was sniffing around, I had sprayed a couple of different uh, scents on me. As I'm you know, spraying it on me, Katie comes over to me. She comes up to me and she says, what do you think of this perfume? And like offers her hand. And I was like, oh. You know, I smell it and I'm like, it smells lovely. And I think it was by, um, I'm not sure of the brand, but I'll, I'll leave it in the description bar below. Um, it smelled like baby powder, and I remember saying that to her. I was like, that smells like musk, like baby powder. Like, it smells really beautiful on you. She was like, thank you. You know, she's just so sweet. So then I asked her, I was like, you know, I'm really interested in this one by Perfumi Del Forte. Uh, it was... Victoria Apuana, which I ended up purchasing off of her recommendation. 
She said it smelled amazing on me and that's all I need to hear when it comes to buying perfume. And then we were talking back and forth. You know, I just said, what you do is so amazing. Like you're like a heroine in the fragrance community. And you know, I'm just so glad that I came here on a whim. Like I just, I naturally had an instinct to just go walk out, explore LA. And then I wound up meeting Katie Puckrick. So there you have it. I wish you would come back to the fragrance community. She has definitely missed her humor, her insight, everything about her is missed. So if you're a fan of this channel and you're a fan of Katie Puckrick, let's go spam her channel and tweet her. Come back to the fragrance community because we love you and miss you and we want to hear your new thoughts on everything that's happening in the community as far as fragrance and reviewers. Oh, she's just iconic. So that concludes my little story time of that time that I went to LA and bumped in to Katie Puckrick. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends, obviously. <laughs> share with me what you would do if you were to meet someone who is YouTube famous in the fragrance community and who you'd want to meet. Don't say me to get on my good side either. Tell the truth, always tell the truth. And hopefully you enjoyed this video because I like to share my little stories with you. So thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.